It's hard to buy a repairable smartphone. That's partly because it's hard to make a repairable smartphone, but we've done enough teardowns to know that when manufacturers truly make repair a priority, they can do some surprising things. Today, I have three smartphones from manufacturers who have taken that idea to the extreme. First, let's look at TerraCube. The TerraCube 2E I have here is the company's second smartphone. The first was a little less modular, but still true to their company's goal of sustainability and reliability. TerraCube offers a four-year warranty and a flat fee on all their phone repairs, basically a unicorn in the smartphone warranty landscape of 2021. The back cover has two indents at the bottom for prying up with a fingernail, and though the clips are tenacious, I'll take them any day over glue. Inside, the bright green battery is front and center ready for the taking. No glue, no fragile cable to move, just an old school pop-out battery. I'll dive deeper into the TerraCube in a sec, but for now let's move on. The Librem 5 is considerably thicker, probably closer to what you might expect a repairable phone to look like. Purism, the company behind this phone, has taken a privacy-focused approach to their design, but that emphasis has repairability benefits. Like the TerraCube, a notch in the back panel gives me a place to pry it up, and the battery is immediately accessible. Just beyond that, three screws hold down a black plastic cover, hiding modular and user-replaceable cellular and Wi-Fi Bluetooth modules. A modular wireless card is something you don't even see much in laptops anymore, never mind in a phone. Wireless chips don't commonly fail on smartphones, but this is a great example of the kind of modularity we could see if manufacturers would prioritize it. If this is what a small company can make, imagine what a giant company with virtually unlimited resources could make if modularity were their goal. The last phone I have here is the Fairphone 3. Fairphone is probably the most experienced repairable smartphone manufacturer. This is their third iteration on the idea of a smartphone with extreme modularity and even some upgradability. Sort of like Google's Project Aura, but you can actually buy this one. Like the TerraCube 2E and Librem 5, the Fairphone 3 has a plastic rear cover that's clipped in place, and the see-through plastic is a pretty cool touch. As soon as the cover is off, you can pull out the battery. Fairphone goes quite a few steps further than just a user-swappable battery though, and that's where it really starts to differentiate itself from the other two phones we're looking at. They even include a tiny little Phillips driver right inside the box when you buy this phone. I'm using our screwdriver because it's a bit nicer, but if you don't already have the right tool, this is an amazing invitation to tinker. Past the screws, an opening pick unclips the screen from the midframe, and just like that, I've done a battery and a screen removal. That's a very quick four-step procedure to remove both of the most commonly repaired components in smartphones. Fairphone has really done their homework here and it shows. There is a lot more modularity to the Fairphone 3. Most of the components inside are contained in replaceable modules held down with Phillips screws, which is so cool. If you want to see more Fairphone, you can check out our full teardown on ifixit.com. Let's talk about displays though. Like batteries, display replacements have become increasingly expensive and difficult over the years. That's partly because of the way that display technology has advanced, but a difficult repair only adds to the already high replacement cost. With their batteries and covers removed, both the TerraCube and the Librem 5 look more like typical Android phones. It looks like to get to the displays, you'll have to remove some shields, disconnect and remove most of the components, and unscrew and remove the circuit boards. Many Android smartphones have their displays sort of built into the frame of the phone, so it makes the most sense to replace the display with the frame as one part. A little more investigation reveals the TerraCube and Librem 5 both actually have some pretty forgiving display adhesive, so you could theoretically perform a screen replacement shortly after removing the battery without removing the rest of the parts. So we have three really unusual phones here, all very repairable by pretty much anyone. They're not as sleek or feature packed as your typical $1,000 flagship phone, but they're also not designed to be used for 18 months and then just thrown away. Each of these companies are staking out some really interesting ground in the smartphone space, and we're so glad they're doing it. Even if these don't sell in Apple or Samsung numbers, they help show us what's possible, they give consumers more choices, and most importantly, they put pressure on other manufacturers who often make repair an afterthought.